Hey guys, welcome back to the Wadlock Project 365, episode 595. I'm here with my man Johnny Wallace. Thank you so much for uh, jumping on today. Uh, what we're talking about today is lifting oddly shaped objects, and I figured there wasn't a better place to come than to come see Johnny Wallace. He's the only professional, um, uh, how do you say it? Like, only the strong the difference man in, strong in New Jersey. Jersey. Only professional strongman in New Jersey. He's actually training for the Arnold right now, and um, I figured we'd come and talk about stones. There's stones are something that have been popping up in the functional fitness community, but yet very little of us have, uh, have any good technique with it, or at least a lot of experience, right? Because even the most elite guys out there, we just saw the CrossFit Invitational come up a little bit ago, like those guys don't get a lot of time under stones. This is something you guys do a lot of, so I figured no other place to get some knowledge than uh, from guys like you. Yeah, it's, you know, they just unveiled it, so it was like hard, and a lot of people didn't get to uh, train with anybody or train with the stones itself. Um, I bet you a lot of the uh, elite guys are calling people like me across the country right, right? now. It's like the pegboards last year. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta talk to the source, you know? I so hear you. I who hear better you. than a strong man to teach you how to do some stones? Yeah, so uh, tell me about these stones. One interesting fact, we were talking a little bit before that, Johnny was telling me that the bigger the stone, I mean, to me it's harder to lift, but he said it's actually the more the safer it is, right? Well, the bigger the stone, uh, usually the heavier it's gonna be. So, obviously the heavier it is, the more dangerous, the, more, the harder it's gonna be. But the new stones that are coming out now, uh, these stones of steel, you can get the bigger diameter empty because it's loadable with plates. So now it's an easier way to pick up a bigger stone, which the bigger in diameter, the safer it is on your biceps because now you have more square footage, you can use your whole arm instead of just picking it up in your hands or in your forearms. Right. Now you can use your whole body to pick so, it up. So, so uh, I, I was told that the, the joke is between strong men that the stones that crossfitters use are called pebbles. Is that uh, true? No rock. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool. Anyway, um, we'll talk about this loadable stone in a second, but let's get on to uh, like, how do you break down uh, lifting stones and like make it most efficient, the safest way. How, how do we go about doing that? Uh, for, there's three steps to a load. Um, you approach it, you're gonna pick it, one, lap it, two, load it, three. Okay. So once you get those in order, then you can make it more efficient, go faster, but there's always three parts. So okay, cool. show you really, that's the easiest way. You wanna come up on the stone, you kinda wanna get it center, okay? Almost like a sumo deadlift, Right. okay? Uh, you want to come down on it, get really deep underneath, okay? Make sure that either you have chalk on your hands, you have some stone sleeves, mm -hmm. um, something that won't move when you pick up that stone. One thing I noticed real quick is that your toes almost came to the center of that ball. Is that, that yeah, I mean, the center of that stone? That's where we want to be? Yeah. I see a lot of people, they try to lift it from here, yeah. right? That's yeah. no good. That's no good because you can manhandle a lighter stone and you can pull it in. Right. But when it's heavy, the only chance you have to get it on your lap is to deadlift it. Cool. Okay, so you want to get right underneath it, arms totally straight. Okay? And then you just stand up and put it on your lap. Once you put it on your lap, now you want to get taller, so you get a little closer with your feet. Uh -huh. Now you're in a perfect lap position. Right. Now you want to, I'm a little over the stone, I'm not underneath the stone. Okay, right, that's like another this. thing I see people do all the time. You want to be over, pull in, and then come up. Right, okay, so so that, that underneath the equator of the stone, that's no good. No, because then you're using too much biceps, you can tear a bicep. Right, right, right. put yourself right. in harm's way. So it's almost like you're yeah, you above the equator. Yeah, you want to come a little above, or some people, especially with tacky, you can come really high, because we're going to have to load it over a high. Understood, high. understood. So you want to just grab it. So when you load it, you're here, get your feet together, you pull in, and then you come right in. Right, I see that. I see lean that. back, and then you get that triple extension too, so you're on your toes at the very end. Gotcha. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so we have three positions. We have the, the, the pick, the lap, and the load. Yep. And some things that, that we should just highlight here is when you did pick, is that your feet were pretty close to the equator of the ball. Yep. Got, uh, I keep on saying it, ball. Pretty close <laughs> to the equator of the stone. So rather than being in a position in which we're like this, where my feet are in nope. front, yep. I'm here, I need to get into a position like where I'm like this, yep. right? And then, exactly. then I can go ahead and pick. I'm not gonna try. I'm it's not even gonna try. Straight line. There you go. There we go. Oh, now, so then from right here. Now redo your hands, put your feet together, get a little taller. Good. Now you really gotta pull it in and stand up and lean back. Yeah, there you go. Cool, so we got pick, lap, load. Um, and then from right there, then it, just, it comes through the hips, yep, just like all, anything else. All hit triple extension. 
I think the, the last point that I just want to reiterate that I saw was that uh, to make sure that we understood that it's above the equator, not necessarily below. Yeah. Uh, would that go the same? Cause, you know, we see in the CrossFit world that they, they're either putting it on their shoulder or sure. over their shoulders. That same cue stay the same. Same cue. Understood. Yeah. Understood. Cool. Uh, now let's talk just a little bit about this stone because, uh, man, I thought it was the coolest thing ever. I've never seen anything like this. Yeah, this, this stone just came out. Uh, Mike Bartos makes it. He's out of Ohio. It's called the Stone of Steel, and it's the first loadable stone ever made. Could you pull this thing apart sure. real quick? Uh, I, uh, I thought this was the coolest thing. I, I, it comes I've with, it, it comes like with the tool. You just un uh, unscrew it. Take that out. Use the same tool. This is like this is like a real man's uh, <laughs> what you call it? a real man's uh, uh, cooker. And then you just load it. Take it off. Doesn't that doesn't that remind you <laughs> of a, of a real man's barbecue? <laughs> And then you take the spacers out, put 45 pound plates in it, 25 pound plates. You just make minimal adjustments. That is the coolest thing ever. Put it right back on. And you I, can make I, this stone any way you want. Right now it's empty, it's 125. Right. And it's a 20 inch diameter. Out of cement, you'd have to start at 330 pounds. Right. And so, this is the cool thing too for gyms because, I mean. Oh yeah, you only you have to have one. Limit, limit space and all that yeah. other stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I never talk about products ever, but it's just like the coolest. <laughs> It's just like the coolest thing I've ever seen, so I just want to talk yeah, about it. Yeah, so it's going to be at the Arnold this year, World Championships. It's the first time we ever, we're going to be using a heavy, heavy stone with no tacky on the main stage uh, Sunday afternoon. It's going to be 375 pounds for reps. Cool. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna be out there, so hopefully I get to come watch awesome. you guys do it, and uh, we'll see what goes on. So, guys, just remember, we got three portions of that lift. We got the pick, the lap, and the load. And the load. Or the shoulder. And the older shoulder. Got it. Cool. All right. Thank you so much, my man. I really do appreciate you, uh, you know, dropping some knowledge with this. And guys, hope this helps you out. Uh, learn it, love it. Until tomorrow, we are optimizing function to optimize performance.